Hey y'all, it's Samaya E. If you wanna learn how to get this wraparound ponytail look, just stay tuned. So I'm gonna show you guys how I get this wraparound ponytail look. I actually made this myself, but if you want to make that, I can show you guys in a separate video, or you can get one from the beauty supply store. We're gonna jump right in with the tools that we'll be using. First, I'm gonna go ahead and start by detangling my hair with my wide tooth comb. You really, really want to detangle your hair. If you have to add an extra step in, such as blow drying your hair, go ahead and do that so that way your ponytail, which is your base, will be flat. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my flat iron and go ahead and straighten the perimeter of my hair only because the texture of this weave, y'all, is pretty, you know, straight. It's not as kinky as my hair looks when it's blow dried. So depending on whatever type of hair you have, you can actually skip this step as well. Like if you get kinky hair, you don't have to really necessarily straighten your perimeter. Now you'll be seeing me take my hard bristle brush just to brush everything up. You really want to make sure that this base is very flat so that way the rest of your style looks flawless. So now I'm gonna go ahead and secure this ponytail with a scrunchie. Y'all, it broke, but it's okay. <laughs> so now I'll be braiding my hair down and also securing it with a rubber band. So here you'll make sure that your hair isn't too, too tight. And you're gonna grab your spritz, you're gonna grab your comb, and you're gonna grab your blow dryer and just go ahead and start really making sure those flyaways are tucked in. You're not gonna get every single flyaway tucked in. That's okay, that is what the edge control is for. So that's why I said that this step is actually optional. Okay, whoosh, yeah. A bad bee is about to come through. We gonna go ahead and put on that little wig, the little wraparound ponytail thing. So I really wanted to take the time out to show you guys where we will be placing the bobby pins. If you have combs in your wig, that's even better. But if you don't, you will always notice when you have a wig, it's always a track, a gap, and another track. You will be sticking it in between that gap. So I'll be using only about four to six bobby pins. If you need to use more, that is okay. Make sure that this is secure as possible for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure my ponytail around my perimeter and around my edges are not so tight. You don't wanna lose your edges over no style. Next, I'll be taking some hair from the back of the ponytail wig and just literally wrapping it around just to make sure that I'm covering these bobby pins. If you want to use hairspray, go ahead and do so. You'll see me use a little bit on the ends of it. I'm gonna be tucking the ends of the hair underneath that base and also using a bobby pin. Now it's time for the edges, girl. We're gonna go ahead and use our edge control and also use the end of a rat tail comb just to make sure we tuck in those flyaways. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I wanted to include it because, you know, when you do your edges, it just really brings the look together.
y'all do you see how lovely this look really came together y'all this is so easy anybody could do this and you know it's hot girl summer hot girl season so guess what we're outside and you need to make sure your hair is popping so go ahead and do this hairstyle tag me in on instagram you will see my instagram right here thank you for watching like subscribe comment tell your friends tell your friend baby and we're out